viewers. So this is Sharad Kumar here, uh, economics faculty from Sri Shakti International School. In this thousand steps activity video today, I'm going to discuss with you one of the prime chapter in economics, grade 11th, a forms of market. You could see over the screen, uh, you can find uh, different forms of market, what we can see in an economy. Uh, we have perfect competition, monopoly, monopolistic, oligopoly, and we have even some other forms of market structure. So in this video, I'm just going to throw a light on a different forms of market and market structure in an economy. Yeah. So let's try to understand what is this market. So at present scenario, so market doesn't have a boundary. Okay, the before and all, uh, so market in a sense, uh, we have to assume like a physical place where buyer and sellers come together to exchange uh, goods and services for consideration. Okay, but so nowadays market doesn't have any physical boundary. So we can uh, say like, so wherever buyers and sellers are uh, meeting each other, they are contacting each other. Okay, so just to buy and sell their goods and services. So that could be treated as a market. It can be an online platform, offline platform, it can be anything. Okay, so this is for your better understanding. So this is about market and let's go further. Okay. So let's get a brief idea about uh, what and all this uh, forms of market structure. So these forms of uh, market we have classified on the basis of competition level. Okay, you could see that uh, we are broadly classified uh, a market as uh, two categories, one as perfect competition and another one as imperfect competition. In imperfect competition, we could see monopoly, monopolistic competition and oligopoly. These are the three subcategories we could see in imperfect competition. Okay, so let's start with perfect competition. Fine. Uh, yeah. The name itself is saying uh, this is a such kind of market structure where we could see a perfect competition among sellers. Okay, so perfect competition means uh, we could see this kind of market scenario. So in perfect competition, there is a perfect competition among buyers and sellers. So this is just an imaginary market. We can we cannot see this kind of market in the real world. Okay, so. While we are studying this economics, so we have to know what is exactly this perfect competition. So uh, this kind of uh, market where we can see large number of buyers and large number of sellers who are dealing with homogeneous product. Homogeneous in a sense, identical. Okay, so you could see this picture, you can understand better. Okay, in the market, we will be seeing large number of sellers and large number of buyers. So this, they come to buy and sell something. There will be no restriction for the sellers to enter and exit. Okay. And you could see that sellers are dealing with identical product and for the market price. Okay. So right now what you are seeing on the screen, these are the, some of the common niches, uh, of perfect competitive market, homogeneous product, free entry and exit, perfect knowledge of price and technology, no transportation cost, no selling cost, large number of buyers and sellers. Now we will try to discuss one by one what exactly this nature talks about and what is uh, their implication on the market. Okay, the very first one, is large number of buyers and sellers. How large? The question arises. How large this number of uh, buyers and sellers in this perfect competitive market? You could see that for that they have given a better implication like a single buyer and single sellers purchase and sales never influence the price of the commodity. Hope you can understand. 
if single seller decided not to sell and single buyer decided not to buy it does not give any impact on the price of the commodity in the market okay so now you can imagine how big this sellers and buyers in this market okay so that is the reason here firms are just a price takers they are not the price makers they will just take the price what been decided by the market okay so this is about the very first feature large number of buyers and sellers the next one is homogeneous products okay homogeneous nothing but identical the commodity which is quite identical in its color quantity quality okay so in this perfect competitive market we are assuming that all the sellers are selling identical products okay so there is no any big differences among these commodities okay they are very uniform in nature number 3 there is a lot of freedom for the firms to enter and exit the market there are no any such kind of barriers okay so this you need to understand the whoever might be the firm he can enter the market and whoever might be the firm he can exit the market as you all know that uh, firms if they want to enter the market means they want to see that market should be in a abnormal profit situation the same firms want to exit from the market means they have to see that there should be a loss scenario okay so let me make it even more simpler if firm is earning a normal profit normal profit is a scenario where you could see a revenue is equal to cost this will happen in long run see in perfect competitive market we could see only normal profit in the long run so abnormal profit will happen in the short run and immediately it will disappear when more firms started to enter due to increase in supply on the other side if there is a losses in the short run so firms started to get exit okay so when firms started to exit from the market the supply will decline and all of sudden the losses will disappear this is what the implication of the feature called freedom of entry and exit of the firms have a perfect knowledge of price and technology in this market every buyer and seller have a perfect knowledge about the prices so which are offered in the market and seller will be having you are better aware about the technology and the mode of production okay so due to this reason there will be no any big differences in the production cost okay so this is an another characteristics we could see in a perfect competitive market there will be a perfect knowledge of price and technology okay next is firm is a price taker so try to understand the differences between price taker and price maker the price maker is the one who makes the price or who decide decides the price price taker is the one who receives the price and for the same price he is going to sell it in the market okay so here firm is not an influencer in the market so due to that reason he just take the price which been decided by the industry okay industry in the sense the large number of firms who are dealing with common product okay so you could see over here ar and mr even price line demand curve everything will be we could see in a single line which is parallel to x axis okay you could so see over here the diagram what you are seeing on the left side you could see that uh, how this uh, demand curve and supply curve is determining the price of the commodity in the market and what price been decided by the industry for that price the firm is going to sell its commodity okay so the line which is parallel to x axis that is going to be a ar line mr line 
and demand. So this video was most informative for you. Let me meet you with another video with an informative concept. Thank you.